Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have another very interesting question from algebra. It is x plus 5 whole square plus x plus 6 whole square plus x plus 7 whole square up to x plus 15 whole square equal to 11 square. And we have to find out possible x values. I will share two different approaches to proceed this question. So let me write here method 1. And here I will use expansion x plus 5 whole square, I can write x square plus 2 times x times 5 plus 5 square, x plus 6 whole square. This will be x square plus 2 times x times 6 plus 6 square. Similarly, we can write our last bracket x plus 15 whole square. This will be equal to x square plus 2 times x times 15 plus 15 square. Let us add. So LHS is 11 square. Now we have to add x squares. How many x squares are there? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 11. Then I can write plus sign. Then 2x and in bracket 5 plus 6 up to 15. And last bracket I will write the addition of squares. So 5 square plus 6 square up to 15 square. Let me write here. 11 square equal to 11x square plus 2x in bracket 5 plus 6 plus 7 up to 15. And in last bracket, it was 5 square plus 6 square up to 15 square. Now I will calculate this addition using arithmetic progression. So this is our first term, this is our last term and how many terms are there? It is 11. So I can simply write this summation. So let me write here sum equal to n by 2 in bracket first term plus last term. So let me write L last term. I will write 11 by 2. First term is 5. Last term is 15. So 11 times 20 over 2. So 11 times 10. 110. So this addition would be 110. Now we have to find out this last bracket addition. So let me write here 121 equal to 11x square plus 2x times 110 plus sigma. Let me write this in sigma form. So 5 to 15 n square. Or I can write 121 equal to 11x square plus 220x plus sigma 5 to 15 n square. Let me write here 1 to 1 11x square plus 220x plus sigma 5 to 15 n square. Now I will calculate this sigma separately. So I will write here sigma 5 to 15 n square which I can write sigma 1 to 15 n square. So I have added 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have to take away 1, 2, 4 n square. Now we know the formula for sum of squares of natural number from 1 to n. So formula is n, n plus 1, 
2n plus 1 by 6 over 6. So I can write here equal to n is 15 here, n is 4 here. So I will be writing 15 times 16 times 31 over 6 minus 4 times 5 times 9 over 6. Let us simplify. 3 2s are 3 5s are 2 and 8. So it would be 40 times 31. So let me write 31 times 40 minus here also 3 2 3. So 6 5s are 30. Now this value if we will multiply then it is 1240 minus 30. So value will be 1 2 1 0. Now I can plug in over there. So it would be 121 equal to 11x square plus 220x plus 1210. Let me write here 121 equal to 11x square plus 220x and then 1210. Now equation is divisible by 11. So let's divide by 11. So I can write 11 equal to x square plus 20x plus 11, 11 is 121, so 110. Now I will take 11 to the RHS, so x square plus 20x, 110 minus 11, 99, equal to 0. Let us apply quadratic formula, x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac 396 divided by 2a so 2 minus 20 plus minus root 4 it will be 2 over 2 so i can divide by 2 first so minus 10 plus minus 1 with plus sign it will be minus 9 with minus sign it will be minus 11 so this is our final answer Let's see method number 2. Here I will use substitution. If you will see how many terms are there, 11 brackets. 11 brackets are here and middle one would be x plus 10 whole square. I can write like this x plus 5 whole square plus x plus 6 whole square plus in between x plus 10 whole square and last term is x plus 15 whole square. RHS is 11 square. Now this is our middle term. So let us consider x plus 10 equal to a. So x plus 5 will be a minus 5 whole square x plus 6 would be a minus 4 whole square. Similarly, a minus 3 whole square, a minus 2 whole square, a minus 1 whole square and then a square. Towards right hand side, I will be writing a plus 1 whole square as x plus 11 whole square then a plus 2 whole square, then a plus 3 whole square, then a plus 4 whole square, then last bracket x plus 15 whole square, I will be writing a plus 5 whole square. Now if you notice a minus 5 whole square, a plus 5 whole square, this combination if I will consider then we have 
a minus 4 whole square, a plus 4 whole square. Similarly, a minus 3 and a plus 3 up to a minus 1 and a plus 1. And this a square is separate. So we know the formula. We can write directly 2 times what would be left a square plus 5 a square. This is this part only. Now I will write for the second one. It would be a square plus 4 a square. From third one, a square plus 3 a square. Fourth one, a square plus 2 a square. Last one, a square plus 1 a square. And then a square separate equal to 11 a square. Now 2 times in bracket. How many a squares are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I will be writing 5a square. Then 5a square plus 4a square plus 3a square plus 2a square plus 1a square. 25 plus 16, 41 plus 9, 50 plus 4, 54 plus 1, 55. And then we have a square equal to 11 a square. Now I can write this left hand side would be 10 a square plus a square. So 11 a square plus 110 equal to 121. So let me write 10 a square plus 110 equal to 121. Now I will take 110 to the RHS. So I can write it was 11. So I will be writing 11 a square equal to 121 minus 110. This will give us 11 again. So I can write here this value will be equal to 121 minus 110 11. a square will be equal to 1. a will be equal to plus minus 1. Now a was our substitution x plus 10. So I can write x plus 10 equal to plus minus 1. x is equal to plus minus 1 minus 10 with plus sign value will be minus 9 with minus sign minus 1 it would be minus 11. So using this method substitution method we are getting the same results. Let's verify. So I will check for x is equal to negative 9. Okay. So x plus 5 equation is here. So x plus 5 whole square. So minus 9 plus 5 whole square. So it would be minus 4 whole square minus 9 plus 6. So I will write minus 3 whole square minus 9 plus 7 minus 2 whole square minus 9 plus 8 minus 1 whole square minus 9 plus 9 0 then minus 9 plus 10. Now it will be 1 then 2 square then 3 square then 4 a square, then 5 a square, and then last term 6 a square. Now I will consider squaring. See, 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 and 25 plus 36. So if I will add 16 plus 9, 25 plus 5. This is 30. So this would be also 30. And then we have 61. So 60 plus 61, 121, which is our RHS 11 square. So this is verified. Similarly, we can verify for our second solution x is equal to negative 11. So I will write here LHS first. So I will be writing minus 6 whole square x plus 5 minus 11 plus 5 minus 6 whole square. Then minus 5 whole square. Then minus 4 whole square. 
then minus 3 whole square, then minus 2 whole square, then minus 1 whole square. And then we'll have 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square. So similar values we'll be having as our first verification. So I can write here 36 plus 25 plus 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. Now this value is 30. So this value is also 30. 30 plus 30. And here we have 36 plus 25, 61. So addition will be 1 to 1, which is our RHS, hence verify. And this brings the end of the video. Do not forget friends to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.